day 297 ah yes 297 oh, from here to Jerusalem walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back okay so unexpectedly I found myself in niche already today yesterday all was going pretty well uh, until I uh, heard that I had no bed which was fine uh, I could have just gone to the next place and then gone back in the morning and walked on but I was having coffee trying to figure out how to do this uh, when I ended up chatting with uh, two men and listening to their stories it was like all energy drained from my system I was just feeling so lost now I had my bout of uh, homesickness there uh, not too long ago and I'm very lucky uh, my best friend uh, from Amsterdam had said that he would come and fly over to uh, to keep me some company that he felt that uh, I've been uh, I've been spending too much time on my own which is you know not enough familiarity around me which is probably true look my new best friend there we go okay this is the next river that is going to be my next best friend uh, so just knowing that he is on his way and hearing those stories I went like I'm not so sure I'm not so sure I can be here right now so you know there were stories of uh, of great suffering and illness and they were told to me with such you know with such compassion for the world that we live in and such great understanding of why it ended up being like that I was just like it wiped me so I thought I'd do myself a favor come to Nish start the rest now and uh, try and find a route while I'm resting here <coughs> and then have a few days of company walking into Nish together with my friend I'll have the company it'll be less uh, in your face and uh, thank you and uh, hopefully that'll help me to uh, to really you know calm down like I need to calm down a little bit because I've been feeling very uh, worked up about what I've been seeing uh, so yeah so I found myself in niche yesterday evening already uh, <laughs> the bus driver wasn't happy with me as uh, just as the bus drivers in uh, Hungary weren't happy with me he was not very nice and uh, I arrived here I uh, had a room I went for dinner made a new friend and uh, yeah I'm gonna go and explore uh, the town once I've uh, come to the B&B where, uh, where we will be staying so I can't be there until I think three o'clock so I'm gonna go to uh, the area where we're staying I'm gonna go do a bit of work because yesterday evening I did nothing I ended up just sleeping all of that is also always an indication with me that I I'm not in a good place that's when I flake out and do nothing I literally I just sat there and did nothing so 
yeah, that's my plan for the day. Wait until I can book in and then uh, maybe go have, have a bit of a walk without the pack because the pack is weighing on me as well. Now there's some other stuff happening as well. I've been getting some phone calls and uh, yeah, tomorrow morning I'm hoping to go and see the, there is a, I'm hoping to go see a, uh, the concentration camp of Niche, the former concentration camp, Second World War, uh, to pay my respects to those who, who lost their lives there. And yeah, uh, I just need to go and make a plan, drink lots of coffee, make a plan. <laughs> That's my plan. Sounds like a great plan. Okay, let's go put this plan into, into the planning stage. I'm gonna go. <laughs>